thing we're going to do is jack the vehicle up. In the interest of safety, you, we'll use a jack and then we'll slide jack stands underneath. You never really want to be operating a, on a vehicle with it being held up just with the, the jack. And then we'll put blocks in the back so it doesn't roll away. So if you look at the vehicle, it's got these little knobs right in front of the the door hinge and that's where you place your jack and then we got the jack stands underneath. Using the ratchet with the 8 millimeter socket go ahead and loosen up there's four flanges holding up this rash guard so we'll get those off. Here's our drain plug. Attach a 13 millimeter socket under your ratchet and we'll get it off. Make sure your drip can is placed strategically below because this can tend to shoot out quite a ways. There is going to be a ring gasket on the other side so don't lose track of that. Now you can certainly run in an additional quart just to clean out some of the old oil. It's not necessary at all. Something peaceful about watching that oil drip, isn't it? Let the noise do. Yeah. If you're doing this on a windy day, just be aware that as the stream narrows, it can really get blown around. When you're replacing this drain plug, make sure it's not, don't, don't worry about cleaning the thing because you want a little bit of oil to provide a suction so that it stays on there and doesn't leak. So in fact, sometimes take that finger, make sure that it's got enough oil on your gasket. You don't need to crank this thing on completely. Clean up the rest of the debris with a hand towel. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. There's a release latch right here. Feels like the trigger of a gun right next to the emergency brake. When you pull it, you'll hear a click. Front of the vehicle now follow me over here and then underneath the emblem there'll be a slide latch pull it toward you and lift up now this vehicle doesn't have a an attachment arm it'll just stand up by itself and now we'll focus on the oil filter so position your drip pan about underneath where your oil filter is just in case there are just in case there is a little bit of drippage and then we'll go up and loosen up the filter I'll be using this belt loosener and really when you put these on you only hand tighten them so they shouldn't be super duper tight those Usually with these types of filters, you don't get too much drippage. Now, unlike the domestic vehicles, this filter is a little bit different. This is a CH8481. When you open it up, what you're going to notice is not like that traditional hard shell. This is going to be a filter along with a series of graduated ring gaskets. What we're going to do is there's ring gasket all up the shaft here so we'll pull off the filter and then put on those gaskets and it's about to get dirty let's pull off that filter I 
And then using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to go through and get these gaskets. First one's right at the top. And usually, the bigger the gasket, the easier it is to get off. See in a second. You've got a needle nose pliers that also can come in handy right here. So your fingers are going to be all slicked with oil. What I want you to do is rub those fingers around the gasket before you place it. Locate your biggest one. And as you can see, there is a groove. You just find that groove, place it in there. on you can slip that filter back on make sure you push it all the way to the top and slide it back into place I always put it just a touch harder than hand tighten we're gonna be using 5w30 full synthetic shout out to mobile one That's six in the tank right now. What I'm going to do is check the dipstick and see where we're at before getting close. The dipstick is located at the opposite side of the engine. Wipe it off. Put it back in. And we'll draw it to see where you're at. Right now, just slightly above the minimum of what you want in there so we'll stick a couple more right now we got six in there usually at the eight quart mark you're really starting to get close if you pull out the manual it says nine quarts usually if you put the whole nine quarts in there you're going to go over doing it with this method Now before you lower the vehicle, putting it all back together, fire up the engine, make sure that you don't have any spurts of oil, any loose uh, plugs or anything. Maybe hard to see, but looks like this is maintaining a nice seal and going underneath. We've actually done a really clean job, no drippage at all. Excellent. Let's kill the engine and put it all back together.
the spot I like is. Fuck. Oh, hold on. You can just keep it rolling. I'll just go ahead. Going. Go. Go. Go ahead. Still going. Go. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Before you lower the vehicle, 